If the eyes of the Lord were in every place, beholding the evil and the good, I hope he would note the silver fish stirring the dust with their triune tails in that musty corner of the scriptorium, before his long-suffering gaze alighted on the scribe who toiled there. And then the great I Am would scan the still moist coils of his calligraphy before the black tetragrammaton was sucked into vellum, and scroll to where a gentian was blooming in the margin, and a red croziered bishop uncurled, snail-like, from a cornucopia ridden by a bear, tethered to a jester bidding good day to a reptile with mammal's ears watched eagerly by an eagle with an elongated throat, past the petals of the rose, back through the sea of words, and only then alighting on the couple and their crowns, and only then remarking the cares that caused their frowns.